Welcome to Heart Speak with your host, Naomi Hori. Speaker, healer, intuitive, and teacher Naomi Hori is here to provide conversations featuring experts from all ranges of specialties, including heart based poet, spiritual teachers, and many others. So sit back and get ready to be inspired. Please welcome the host of Heart Speak, Naomi Hori. This is Heart Speak with Naomi Hari. I'm your host and we're live with Bold Brave TV Network. I'm very excited to introduce our special guest today who is a teacher and a master and a healer, Master Wei Chifeng. Um, so thank you so much for joining us on the show, Master Wei. Mm, thank you. Thank you for you inviting me to join this show. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I, I even you know before you started talking I could I could feel your energy is so healing and the sound of your voice the vibrations of your voice is actually very healing as well. <laughs> Can really uh -huh. feel it emanating yeah. from you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I'd like to ask you to explain for those of our viewers that aren't familiar with Qigong, could you explain a little bit about the history and what Qigong is exactly? Oh, uh, I practice Junan uh, Qigong. Uh, I already practiced this Qigong uh, more than 30 years. Junan Qigong, it means uh, wisdom and uh, abilities. So this Qigong is for developing uh, human wisdom and abilities. Yeah. That, that's beautiful. Thank you. And how would you say that your particular lineage um, is, is different than some other uh, lineages of Qigong? Oh, um, there are many kinds of Qigong in China. I think maybe um, thousands of kind of Qigong. But most of the Qigong are just uh, methods, technicals. And uh, they have a little theory from a traditional Chinese culture. But the Junyuan Qigong have a big uh, uh, theory system and the method system. The founder of Zhenyuan Qigong uh, is uh, uh, Dr. Pang, Pang Heming. Yeah, he is a Western medicine doctor and TCM doctor. He has uh, abundant uh, knowledge, uh, yeah, including modern science knowledge. So he based on his knowledge and wisdom, he created a new Qigong system. This Qigong system uh, contains uh, the knowledge of Taoist uh, uh, culture, Confucian culture, and Buddhist culture, uh, martial arts, and TCM, and the folk Qigong, many things. So she formed a, a new Qigong system. And this Qigong system, uh, he used um, modern science way to describe Qigong theory and Qigong methods. So this is very different from traditional Qigong. And traditional Qigong theory um, is not very clear. Some part like this, some part like this, Many knowledge is pieces, not very clear, uh, but it's an entirety, also very profound. For uh, Junan Qigong, Qigong, Dr. Pang used a science way, um, scientific way to describe Qigong knowledge. So it's very clear, it's a complete system. And the message also like this. So I think uh, 
today. This Qigong theory and methods is、um, can be easier accepted by today human, and can benefit today human society in a better way. So that's why、uh, Zhenlin Qigong can quickly develop to all over the world、uh, in only in thirty、uh, years, around thirty years. Yes, I, I, and I I know you're、um, uniquely expert at this lineage of Qigong, having studied with Dr. Pang, and also you, after learning English, you actually were integral in bringing that wisdom to other countries、uh, by translating his book into English.、Mm, yes, yes.、Uh, uh. But my English is still poor. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can understand you just fine. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and, and, and your your English is way better than my <laughs> my Chinese. I don't know if you speak Mandarin or or something else, but yeah. <laughs> so you're you're doing great and and talking in English to people all around the world. It's it's beautiful. I I understand. We caught you, even though you're based in China. You're、um, doing workshops and working with people in Europe right now. What what country are you in in the moment? Uh, no, uh, I'm in Hungary. Ah,、oh. in Hungary, the first time I visit Hungary. This is、mm. beautiful, and, and、um, I know that Qigong can help with. Uh, specific medical conditions,、um, and and I I love of course I I love that there are hospitals and surgeries and things like that. But even more than that, I love、uh, different preventative medicine、uh, like this qigong that you're doing. What conditions have you found that your lineage of qigong can be especially helpful in? People dealing with so that perhaps they don't have to get to the point where they have to have a surgery or some kind of extreme、uh, medical treatment, or in conjunction with their medical treatment. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Qigong. Hmm.、Um, theory, foundation theory, is different from medicine. And、qi gong mainly work on energy level, qi level, and information level, consciousness level. And medicine mainly work on, I think,、uh, is、uh, material level, <laughs> physical level.、Mm. But、uh, medicine also develops. So the foundation theory is different. Qi gong directly. Work on energy level. So when we teach people, we first we tell them, you need to think you are energy. You need to change your mind. Even you need to change your mind from subconsciousness. Normally, we humans think we are body. Even we know、uh, from science, we know everything is vibration, everything is energy. But when we Meet the problem immediately. We think, oh, physical body. We think tumor, cancer are just physical things. So now, we practice when we need from subconsciousness change. We really need to think, oh, we are chi. How can we、yeah, change mind like this? We need the experience. We need to observe. Use consciousness, observe body. When you observe very deep, you will really feel you are empty, and your body inside is vibrating. You whole body inside have movement, no boundaries. You have a chi field inside and outside. Of the chi field are connected. You and the universe are connected. Yeah. When you experience more and more gradually,、um, your consciousness deep inside start to change. You will、uh, confirm, trust. Oh, 
It's true. I am qi. I'm an energy. All the material things are all are qi. But it's just a different form of qi. And consciousness influences qi. When you send the information, this qi will change. Oh, this is the base of qi gong medicine or qi gong healing. So we based on this understanding, actually we can heal all kinds of problems because we work on energy level, information level. We don't think cancer is a very special, not like a modern medicine idea or cancer is special, cannot be healed. When you come to energy level, you just know, oh, there's energy blockages. Cancer is also energy. It's how its energy field, it's concentrated energy. Consciousness can go through inside, give information, can change this energy state. So, in practitioner, Qigong consciousness, yeah, all the problems are just uh, energy problem, just uh, information problem. So it's either based on this, uh, yeah, based on this understanding and experience. Um, yeah. You we, bring up. Oh, I'm, I'm yeah. sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, if we bring Qigong, and uh, before we get problem. Uh, we already can uh, manage our energy, uh, manage our consciousness. So we can prevent the problem happen. Yeah. You bring up so many important points uh, about experience and, and the different levels of, of consciousness or energy, because sometimes on a conscious level, we think one thing but then we're shocked to discover once we start to look at what's in the subconscious or in even in the unconscious fields of energy, it can be shocking to people because it's not at all what they think they've been thinking or you know how they've been using their mind. And there's a, a quote by Carl Jung, I believe, that um, it, it's mm. something like if you you know if you aren't conscious of the energies then you think it's it's fate <laughs> but that really you're being controlled by what's in your subconscious so you you bring up so many excellent points and i wanted to ask too um because mm. there's a quote um from dr pong uh, on on your on your website and he says cultivating chi is not the most fundamental cultivating one's spirit is Mastery of chi is really achieved through mastery of consciousness. And a lot of people ask or have confusion around what is the difference between their energy or their chi or their consciousness or spirit? What are the differences between those different things? Mm, okay. In Jun and Qigong, we first we think everything is qi. In universe, everything is qi. The physical material is qi concentrated state. Uh, like our body, this is also qi, but it is concentrated qi. And when you go to deep inside, uh, like a go to uh, atom level, smaller, smaller, then we are qi. But we uh, um, gathered by our human information. The chi gathered by human information from the human body. We maintain this body. So everything is chi. Then the empty space is also chi state. Yeah, fill up chi, this space. Then another level. That's our consciousness. Consciousness is also a kind of chi. When universe 
energy developed, developed to human this level consciousness appear. Consciousness manifest on a kind of a conscious level qi. So consciousness, this level qi um, can influence all the other levels qi. From the beginning of the universe to now, there are many levels qi and many kinds of qi. Consciousness is kind of qi. This qi already become self-aware, become conscious, become active. So it can, it can influence all the other levels of qi. This is also um, the foundation of practice. That's why we can practice, because we can use consciousness. Yeah, send information, change all the levels of qi, include our body. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much for explaining that. And it looks like it's time to take a, a little break to hear some messages from our sponsors who keep the show going. But when we come back, I'd love to ask you more and hear about your experiences with the med medicineless hospital in China. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. What if there were a super tiny device that could diagnose the brain and is smaller than a single human hair? What if you could see inside the brain to help an epilepsy patient during surgery or to help the fight against Parkinson's disease? Dr. Patricia Broderick is proud to announce the Broderick Probe, a biomedical and electronic breakthrough. Imagine a probe to help with the understanding and potential cure of brain-related diseases. To learn more, listen live to the Easy Sense Radio Show with host Dr. Broderick, Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern, on the Bold Brave Media Network and TuneIn Radio. And to help support the Broderick Foundation, please go to Easy sense.com and learn how with your help we can fight these horrific brain disorders that's easysense.com to learn more and help support the broderick foundation author radio show host and coach john m hawkins reveals strategies to help gain perspective build confidence find clarity achieve goals john m hawkins new book Coached to Greatness, unlock your full potential with limitless growth. Published by iUniverse, Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them rediscover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Welcome back to Heart Speak with Naomi Hari, live with Bold Brave TV, and I'm your host. We're here with special guest, uh, Master Wei uh, here with us today uh, talking about Qigong. And Master Wei, you trained at the Medicineless Qigong Hospital in China under Grandmaster Dong, Dr. Peng. And mm -hmm. could you tell us um, what was it like working um, in a medicineless hospital? I've always been fascinated about that since I, I first heard of that years ago. And I wish we had more either medicineless hospitals or, or hospitals that combine medicinelessness with, uh, you know, standard Western medicine. Mm, yeah. Um, firstly, when you ask me this question, uh, in my mind, that's a big uh, Qigong center. We call the medicine this uh, hospital. Actually, we don't call it like this in China. We just call it Qigong center. Mm. Yeah. We have a qi healing center. We have a um, um, training center. Very big. 
And I mainly talk about the healing center because you ask a uh, uh, medicine list hospital. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the healing center, very big. Usually there is around uh, 5,000 people live there for get uh, healing. Most of them come from the whole country and they think uh, um, medicine, modern medicine or um, Chinese medicine cannot heal them. They cannot find other way. So they come to Qigong school. They want to try. But when they come to Qigong school, um, this healing center, they feel life become different. Because in this school, we don't call them patients. We call them students. So they don't think they are patients. Yeah. And the teachers uh, mm, is also healers. But we don't call um, the, the teacher or healers uh, doctors. We are just uh, the relationships between teachers uh, and students. So every day, teachers and lead and students practice. Sometimes in small classes, usually one small class is about 40 to 50 students. Sometimes the, um, all the students prank together, 4,000, 5,000 prank together in a big chi field. The classes can be different uh, illnesses. For example, we have a few uh, cancer classes and a few um, diabetes classes and some heart problem classes, different classes, different teachers. And for different classes, the teachers research different problems with different consciousness information. So even the general healing is same, but for different problem, we have different information to do healing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, oh, I oh, remember. Uh -huh. Yeah, I remember. Mm, many people, when they come to the Qigong Center, and at the beginning, firstly, they, need, they will shake hands with our teacher, Dr. Pang. We call it shake hands healing. Yeah, each person maybe just shake hands with Dr. Pang a uh, few seconds, maybe uh, 10 seconds or less, five seconds. So one day, teacher Pang the shaking hands with uh, three, four, five, seven patients. Directly give them information. Some people, not only some, many, many people sit on wheelchair. They cannot uh, walk. But when they shake hands with Dr. Pang, some of them uh, stand up, start to walk, just a few seconds. Even some people stand up, start to running. So many people uh, were moved and crying. I saw this. I also, I was moved. <laughs> the Qigong Center, in the Qigong Center, we uh, can heal I remember nearly 200 kind of illnesses. Yeah. So uh, very good. Yes, that, that's incredible. And it must be so gratifying for you to, uh, to be able to participate in uh, helping people, healing people that way. And I know you, you train teachers as well. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about your teacher training program? Okay. 
And you mean now what shall I do? Or before? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Now, okay. And now uh, I mainly work on consciousness level. We call it Ming Jue. Hmm. Uh, we bring our consciousness go to the source. Everybody inside have the observer. When the observer observes itself in this present moment, we come to the pure consciousness, baby heart. But this is the awakened baby heart. From here, we will realize our own master. Yeah, our consciousness is our master. We start to consciously manage our life as a self master. Oh, we can say self doctor. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is also the question just now you asked me. Um, Dr. Pan said that uh, con consciousness cultivation more important than only focus on qi. Because there are different levels of qi. Consciousness is a high level qi. It's uh, our master. If we only focus on qi practice, maybe we will be fixed by the qi feeling. We cannot resolve our consciousness with self problems. How can we resolve consciousness with self problem? Consciousness have to research itself. Yeah, go beyond the inside all kinds of patterns, all past memories come to the pure original heart state, wake up self. Then from there, then we make a, we choose the information, make the new pattern. Like a, this, like a, we upgrade our inside program, upgrade the program. So my teacher training, now we mainly focus on this um, change human life so that from change self yeah. it's not only practice for body health it's for uh, becoming a new person so once our consciousness uh, go beyond all the problem consciousness become free then we can use this free consciousness, send the information to transform our chi. The healing become more powerful. Healing process is just like a play games. It's not a fixed idea. So it's become much easier. So this is uh, the teacher training uh, basic ideas for now. And then um, Mm, I have an online course, uh, one year online course. In, in this course, we also have teacher training. And the next year, uh, I also have teacher training uh, face to face in China, Hainan, and 24 days. People come from all over the world, yeah, many languages, um, people. Uh, will be organized by many organizers. Uh, maybe now already more than 10 organizers organize uh, this teacher training. Next year, October. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, what a, an amazing opportunity for people to go uh, be able to study with you face-to-face uh, -face mm. or online that's that's so wonderful that they can do it from wherever they are yes yes <laughs> and um so it looks like it's time to uh, take another break to hear a message from our sponsors but when we come back master way will be doing a healing for us I, uh, so we're very lucky <laughs> okay and i want to know and uh, now Mm, the participants of this uh, show, and do you know where are them? Um, well, all over, uh, we have viewers from 
let's see, Italy, England, Denmark, uh, Greece, the Philippines, India, wow. Mali, um, the United States. So they're, they're kind of all over. I would like to do um, acupuncture for them. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, long distance healing. I think they will have a good experience. Okay, that, that <laughs> sounds wonderful. <laughs> well, I can't wait to experience it uh, when we come back from break. Thank you, Master Wei. Did you know that your beliefs create your entire reality, but it's the subconscious beliefs that do most of the creating? Belief Shifter and Life Coach Shiraz can help you identify those limiting beliefs and eliminate them often in a single session like it was almost instant like i had relief right away creating better health relationships careers and finances let shiraz help you step out of safety and into awareness definitely something's happening uh it's like a, a flow inside you know, it feels good whether in person or online shiraz provides personal coaching belief shifting visit shiraz at energeticmagic.com or call 416-529-7429. Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Find your greater happiness. Be well, be aware, be magical. Are you struggling to care for elderly parents or a spouse? Do you wonder if being a caregiver is making you sick? Are you worried about taking time off work to care for elderly parents and balance work, life, and caregiving? Has caregiving become exhausting and emotionally draining? Are you an aging adult who wants to remain independent, but you're not sure how? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. Join me for the Caring Generation radio show for caregivers and aging adults, Wednesday evenings, 6 Pacific, 7 Mountain, 8 Central, and 9 Eastern, where I answer these questions and share tips for managing stress, family relationships, health, well-being, and more. Podcasts and transcripts of The Caring Generation are on my website, PamelaDWilson.com, plus my caregiving library, online caregiver support programs, and programs for corporations interested in supporting working caregivers. Help, hope, and support for caregivers is here on The Caring Generation and PamelaDWilson.com. We're back with Heart Speak with Naomi Hari. Uh, I'm your host, and we're live with Bold Brave TV. And Qigong master and teacher, uh, Master Wei, will be doing a healing for us in this segment. Mm. Okay. And I uh, will do a consciousness and energy and acupuncture for everybody. Thank even, you. yeah, even I don't know where are you, but uh, uh, in the Venice, we are connected, uh, our information are connected. At this present moment, uh, you join this uh, show. So we already and link it together. This is just like the quantum entanglement. <laughs> so I would firstly, I would like everybody um, find a comfortable place, lie down. The better you lie down on your bed, on your garnet somewhere. You just lie down, relax. You don't do, don't you do anything empty. After a while, maybe five to 10 minutes. Uh, if you can share your experience, that's the best. If you cannot share uh, in this show, and later you can send the message. Okay. Everybody uh, relax. Lie down. The bed is lie down on the bed. 
If not, no place to lie down, you also can sit there totally relaxed. Empty. At this supreme moment, everybody, we are one. Uh, you are in my pure consciousness, no limitation. And our consciousness go beyond time and space, already, already merged together, become one. Our information also merge together, become one. In this oneness, my consciousness information will directly work on your energy. Today, I choose the information of acupuncture. I use the acupuncture way to make your body inside chi more harmonious. So now you do nothing, you keep empty. I will use my consciousness to create the chi needle or information needle to acupuncture for you. Yeah, you don't need no energy point uh, or the place, you just keep empty. Relax. Empty. In my pure consciousness, I already have a lot of information about uh, acupuncture healing. When I activate this information, this information will directly work on your body inside the uh, energy points and the reader channels. Some people will feel the chi flowing in reader channels, uh, in arms, in legs, or different parts of the body. But some people will have a deep relaxation, even fall down sleep. But almost everybody will feel your body inside become very light or very harmonious. Maybe more harmonious, more comfortable than before you experienced from different ways. Now just relax. Uh, I will keep you quietly a few minutes.
now many people should feel a hands and arms inside the have chi movement. Legs inside also have chi movement. Some people can clearly feel the channels inside chi. Some people can feel the head, face, head inside the have vibration, like electricity. Everybody feel chest inside open. Chest and the abdomen, abdomen inside become very harmonious, very relaxed. How body chi is flowing? How about the inside chi? Is uh, repairing. Uh, your energy is repairing. Become more and more harmonious. Just keep empty. Uh, usually, when I do this uh, acupuncture, I say nothing. I quietly do it five to ten minutes. Today, uh, it's special, so I give some information through talking. Some people now feel body inside the some place become warmer and warmer, even hot.
when your energy become more harmonious, some body pain, body inside pain, uh, become less, even disappeared. And body inside energy blockages disappear. Empty. Okay. Yes. Thank wow. you so much, Master Wei. Thank you. Um, we we need to take a one more commercial break, and then when we come back, I'd love to ask you about your book and also how people can uh, get um, get in touch with uh, with you to to get on your mailing list and hear about your work and and your workshops and things like that. Okay. It's difficult for me to speak right now after the healing. So, excuse me, all. I'm a little bit inarticulate. <laughs> Author, radio show host, and coach John M. Hawkins reveals strategies to help gain perspective, build confidence, find clarity, achieve goals. John M. Hawkins' new book, Coached to Greatness Unlock Your Full Potential with Limitless Growth, published by iUniverse. Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them, rediscover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Welcome back to Heart Speak with Naomi Hari. <laughs> I'm your host, Naomi, and I'm inarticulate <laughs> after that powerful healing. I could barely <laughs> remember my name right now. Uh, I'm in, in the ego list state, um, and we're live with the Bold Brave TV network here with special guest, Master Wei Chifang. Um, so if you feel like it, you can uh, send on the comments if you're listening live. Um, what your experience was, but since we, we don't have much time, I'm just going to start out um, sharing a little bit of what I noticed. Um, so I felt a, a lot of energy suddenly opening up a, a lot, I think from the, the lung meridian or the, and, and different areas like the, the fourth chakra. And then, and then it was kind of um, because of the energy releasing and coming out almost like a an itchiness or, or hive starting, but it was just like the old energies coming out. And, and as you can all tell, <laughs> I'm a little bit inarticulate right now because I, I almost am not in a space to have any words. And, and I think had I not been being the host of this show, I would have just, I would probably be passed out right now, but I, I had to maintain <laughs> staying conscious and awake for the healing. So uh, so that's what I experienced, and um, we'll we'll let you send comments now, or um, if if you don't have a chance to now, then you can um, go ahead and 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 email me, uh, and then I can compile the list uh, of comments and and uh, send it to Master Way. But Master Way, I'd love to uh, ask you first of all, how do people uh, keep apprised of 
your work get on your mailing list, uh, if you could share your website, and also a little bit about your new book, which is available through your website as well. Yeah. And now, uh, our website is uh, dollhearts.com. Yeah. D-A-O-H-E-A-R-T-S dot com. Yeah, you can find the information uh, for all my uh, classes, uh, uh, workshop, uh, uh, and the books, um, everything on the website. And, um, this year, we published a new book um, called Minjue uh, uh, Awakening. Um, this book, this book mainly talk about um, uh, our Minjue, um, the pure observer, awakening consciousness state, and how uh, can we achieve to this consciousness state to have a uh, free, uh, happy, um, harmonious life, peaceful life, and uh, how can we get the real uh, true love, unconditional love. Yes, thank, thank you so much. So www.dowhearts.com and I'm definitely going to be ordering your book as well. It sounds fascinating. Check out his website, get on his mailing list so you can stay apprised of his workshops or clinics or other things. He also has some great resources like free downloads on ebooks that you can read, including on healing cancer, exercises to heal cancer, for example, amongst other things. So definitely check out his website. I thank you so much for making time in your busy schedule, Master Way, uh, to, to be here and for that incredible healing uh, that you gave us all. Um, I just, I so appreciate you being here with us today. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Nami. Yeah. If uh, everybody can get a benefit, I will be very happy. <laughs> <laughs> I know we all benefited <laughs> incredibly from just hearing what you said and from the healing and, and just kind of being in the presence, even online uh, with your vibration was a beautiful gift. Thank you. And, and thank you so much for all of you who joined us today or who are listening on the apps. Um, Join me here for another episode of Heart Speak with Naomi Hari next week with designer and artist Nune Karapetian, who makes high vibration jewelry. So I'm signing off live from Heart Speak with Naomi Hari from Bold Brave TV. This is your host saying, from my heart to yours. This has been Heart Speak with host Naomi Hori. Tune in each week as Naomi provides thought provoking talk with such guests as Angel Channeler, a dance teacher, embodying a spiritual and philosophical foundation, an animal communicator, a medium, an astrologer, a spiritual warrior, and more. Right here, Fridays at 2 p.m. Eastern on the Bold Brave TV Network.